Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since the last F1 2010 episode, but we're here. We're back. It's still season three, of course, and I think it's the European Grand Prix today. And the last two races, we've not scored any points. It's been really bad, and we've kind of lost the top of the pack in terms of the championship. So we need to really get back on form here today. Let's see if we can do it. Let's jump into Valencia Street Circuit, the European Grand Prix. So after the Canadian Grand Prix, this is the championship standings. Mark Webber still has the lead. And he's looking favourite, odds on favourite for his third world championship. And because I've not scored points in two races, we're down in fifth place now. Only a point ahead of the McLaren of Robert Kubica. The Constructors' Championship looks like this. McLaren still have their lead. Red Bull in second place. Almost all their points coming courtesy of Mark Webber. Renault's points coming courtesy of Sebastian Vettel. Then it's Ferrari. That's my team. In fourth place, just a few points ahead of Mercedes. Here we are in qualifying then. The Ferrari team preparing my car for another beautiful session. I think we've had two, maybe three pole positions so far this year. If we could get another one here at Valencia, that'd be great. Right, it's the first lap in qualifying. It's a bit tentative as we've been away from the game for, well, almost half a month. But across the line we go with the first lap. It's good enough for second place right behind Kibitza. That should be good enough to get me through. After the conclusion of Q1, it's Jaime Alguasuari at his home Grand Prix. who's fastest for Red Bull. Uh, we get through there, James Early in 6th place. Who's knocked out then? De La Rosa, Trulli, Barry Keller, Hulkenberg, Chandok, Petrov and Degrassi. I'd also like to point out, Michael Schumacher's back on the grid. I've fixed Michael Schumacher and he's got through to Q2. He's driving for Sauber. Q2 option tyres, no risk of rain. Although it is overcast conditions in the background. Let's see if we can just get through to Q3. Oh, look at the traffic. The traffic is horrendous. That's really bad, but we've still managed to make the first corner. A lot of traffic at the start of the lap, but the rest of the lap was real strong. This should be good enough to put me through to the next session. Down towards the line. It's fifth place. That'll do it. And through we go. Fifth place. Algaswari fastest again, though. My teammate Alonso is sixth place. Uh, Glock there in tenth. Kovalainen alongside him, getting through to Q3. Subtle. Cora Kobayashi. It's actually Cora and not Kamui. Jensen Button, Michael Schumacher, Senna, Massa. And Buemi knocked out. Felipe Massa down in 16th. And the sun is back out for Q3. Is that a good sign? Let's find out. The option tyres on the car. Can we claim pole position here? Or will Jaime Algaswari or maybe Fernando Alonso claim it? Let's find out. Algaswari is on professional pole. Rounding that final corner. It's been a gloriously clean lap. Is it good enough for the front of the grid? It's fifth place. We've got one more attempt. Let's go again. Oh, we got Glock. Oh, please, matey. Move out the way. Through the final corner, we had Glock holding me up halfway through the lap. But I think it's still an improvement. Is it good enough for pole position? Oh, he's second place. Jaime Algaswari claims a brilliant pole at his home Grand Prix. He's been underperforming all season, so that pole position will be a welcome surprise for him. Championship leader Mark Webber in third. Then it's my teammate Alonso. Kibitzer and Hamilton, the two McLarens, fifth and sixth. Then it's Kovalainen, and Vettel, Rosberg and Timo Glock completing the top ten. Right, here we are then. 57 laps of Valencia. 59% chance of rain. I don't know if it's raining at the start, in the middle, at the end. We'll find out. But we're starting in second place on those option tyres. We're taking those options, if it stays dry, to lap 18 for the primes. And then all the way to lap 57 to the end of the race. I'm targeting, I don't know, a win really. We need to target a win, don't we? We need to finish ahead of Mark Webber at the very least to close the gap in the championship. Let's get into this one. The 2010 European Grand Prix is next. Here we go then. Algaswari starting on pole. Could he finally win a race here in Formula 1? Liotzi. It's not Leotzi, it's me, early in second. Alonso fourth. Championship rival Mark Webber in third place. Here we are on the grid. And those are the lights. Three, four, and five. The European Grand Prix is underway. We've got a pretty strong start, but Algaswari pulling away as we go up the gears. There's his teammate Mark Webber around my outside. How late can I break into this first braking zone? To see if I can stay ahead of the Red Bull. I broke deep and he's crashed into the wall. That's not my fault. That is not my fault. Weber losing his front wing. And there's Kibitzer on my inside as Weber off the track. Oh, he's all over the place. He's all over the place. He's causing mayhem, carnage. Kovalainen now to my outside to take fourth place. I've dropped a few positions. And Mark Weber really holding up the grid. We've got to be careful. I don't want to lose any of my parts of my car. Up the inside we go. Keep it nice and under control. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> What's happened there? How is Weber still in Weber's still in third place? He's not lost the position. It's fair to say I was being aggressive into the braking zone. But I didn't make contact with anybody. Oh, that's, that's glorious. Look at the gap we've got. 
One lap down. I'm feeling pretty good about myself, honestly. Uh, so, Alguasuari leads early second. Kibitza and Hamilton third and fourth. Alonso in sixth. Where's Mark Webber? He's going to be last place. I'm worried I'll, I'll still end up messing up. We will be heading an early train, no doubt. As Kibitz is now on the back of me. Oh, wow. Two laps down. Alguasuari has an eight-second lead. We've got the two McLarens right behind me. They're putting the pressure on. Although most of the corners on this track, they, they don't have auto-spin curbs. It's still possible to spin. Got a train of four cars behind me. Both McLarens. I think there's Heike Kovalainen and the Braun Mercedes. And my teammate, Fernando Alonso. Now we have a train of five cars, not including myself. The, the train is expanding. And Jaime Alguasuari is about 16 seconds up the road. Personal best lap on that lap. Crazy though, this game had patches and they never fixed the uh, AI running full fuel in qualifying. 10 laps down and although nothing has happened apart from the first lap, I'm in second place. 18 points towards a championship charge if it stays like this. I'm just really happy just to stay in this second place the whole race. The clouds are starting to look dark. The promise of rain on the horizon is quickly arriving towards the circuit. The gap to Alguasuari over the past about five laps has not changed. He's still 16 seconds up the road. Ooh, the gap's coming down now. We've taken a whole second out of Alguasuari on that lap. And there's a yellow flag out for something. And there's a wing on the floor. That looks like a Williams wing. It wasn't a Red Bull wing, was it? There's a guy in the pits. I wonder if that is Alguasuari. Let's have a look. We go down the main straight across the line. It is. It was Alguasuari. It's Alguasuari. Lo he lost his front wing. And now James Early in the lead of the race. Oh, he's bottled a home Grand Prix victory. Let's just hope we don't lose too much through the pit stops. We always run the risk of losing lots of positions. Especially if we pit the same lap as everybody else. Okay, we're starting lap 18. So we're boxing this lap. Alonso in the past couple of laps has lost a load of time. He's still in sixth place, but he's about... 8.9 8 seconds off the lead now. Into the pits we go. Oh, no, Kubitza. You can't do that, matey. That's unfair. We might lose the lead to Kubitza then. Stopping on our marks. Prime tires going on. Down off the jacks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, Kubitza through. So Kubitza into the net lead of the race. I'd call that an illegal overtake, definitely. As we're going to rejoin here. Down in fifth place. Now, Hamilton stayed out. Will he get the jump on me as well? Alguasuari is in the lead of the race. After he lost his front wing and had to pit early. He leads and we're up to third after Hamilton and I think somebody else went into the pits as well. Rosberg maybe. Alguasuari. Oh, there's there's a wheel. <laughs> there's a wheel in the wall. Uh, I was about to say Alguasuari really losing time behind back markers. Maybe he hit one of them. Kibitz are struggling to get past one of the back markers. This might give me a chance. Or oh, Petrov going defensive. Love that for you, mate. Oh, Kubitz, you can't go around the outside there. <gasps> Almost into the wall he goes. Can we find our way to the inside of this hairpin? Oh, close. Now, maybe we'll have the slipstream. Maybe we'll have the run down towards the next corner. Kubitz, where's he going to go? Inside, outside. I'll pick the inside line. Now we need to spot the braking. Heavy on the brakes. And up the inside we go. We've taken second place. Who says James Early can't overtake? Okay, more back marker traffic. And more traffic holding up the leader, Jaime Alguasuari. Arikello. Around the outside he goes. What a move. <laughs> Too bad it's on the Lotus and he's a lap down. Oh, so much traffic up the road. So much traffic. This, I think, would be my chance to overtake Alguasuari. He's the car directly in front of me. Oh, look at this mess. Which way do we go? Do we go to the inside here of Alguasuari? There's Chandok and De La Rosa battling over the lowly position of 16th. I'm just going to look for a way through. An avenue to overtake to the inside here of the Spaniard. In front of his home fans. And now we run side by side. He's boxed in behind Chandok. I've got free reign to go around the outside. Past De La Rosa, a fellow Spanish driver. And up into the lead of the race we go. We're lapping Mark Webber. We are lapping Mark Webber. There we go. Oh, and he's fighting back. He doesn't want to give this up. He's absolutely furious after the first lap incident. And Mark Webber's not going to make this easy for me, is he? There we go. Now we've got past Webber. Sorry about uh, lap one, turn one, mate. But 
That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And finally, as we are about to hit half race distance, the rain has started to fall on the circuit. Go from in innocently laughing to hardcore psychedelics. Don't be fooled, it's not an engine failure. It's rain. Yeah, it was Jeremy Clarkson's birthday yesterday. He, no way he makes it to 70. I'm sorry, but if he's 64, he looks about 80. Like Jeremy Clarkson's insides must be like a car that you never change its oil. It congeals inside. That's Jeremy Clarkson's body. I don't actually see rain falling, but it's definitely getting wetter. So it's almost time to switch over. I might give it one more lap before switching over to the intermediates. We've got the lead uh, to not rush these decisions. Okay, we're requesting a pit stop. We'll box at the end of this lap for intermediates. And we're into the pits for the intermediate tyres. I think there's a few other drivers now bringing their car into the pits for the same tyres as well. We should comfortably rejoin in the lead of this race. Alga Suari in second, then it's Kibitza and Hamilton Alonso, my teammate in fifth, who is apparently 7,000 feet behind me as we rejoin in first place. Oh, there's a wing. That looks like a Ferrari wing on the floor. My teammate who's just been into the pits and another wing there. We do have a train up ahead. Somebody going real slow. Right, there's no rush to get through them. I've got a massive lead. I hope the AI do a better job of moving out the way on F1 2011. My go-to order at KFC. Oh, gosh. Saved. Saved. Almost lost the car whilst talking about KFC. Got to focus. I have a feeling it is wet enough for wet tyres, so I'm going to go for the wets. Right, bringing it into the pits as I always lost the car on the inters, so wet tyres it is. We've got 20 laps to go. I'm miles ahead of Algaswari. When the rain hits on this game, it seems we really extend our lead, if we've got a lead. We go really quick is what I'm trying to say, as we'll rejoin in first place. It's Schumacher. Schumacher's in the points. Kamui Kobayashi, who he's replaced, scored no points in the first eight rounds of the season. And Schumacher, on his first race of the year, could be scoring some points. I've never seen this game so wet, which sounds weird saying out loud, but it's soaking. Look at this. We're lapping all my championship rivals today. Not Karun Chandok, forget about him, but Sebastian Vettel. Now we're lapping the ex-teammate Adrian Sutter as the rain. I've never seen rain like this before. And we're lapping my teammate. Don't you just love racing in the rain? Up the inside of Alonso, who's battling with Rosberg for fifth. There's a wing on the bridge. Somebody else is going around wingless on the track. We're lapping Mark Webber for the second time, as well as both McLarens who are battling for the final podium position. It feels like the rain is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. We have less than 10 laps to go now. What happened to the DJ? Oh, good question. Algaswari has completely disappeared from the top three. I have a feeling the Red Bull driver who had a chance of winning his home Grand Prix here today after a brilliant pole position might have retired from the race. We're a lap up on everybody else. Great driving, mate. I've never heard that before. We are a lap ahead of everybody else. This is like Schumacher, Spain 96. Don't be alarmed. Hamilton is right behind me in second place, but he's a lap down, so it's fine. I've got absolutely no grip now. There's a yellow, and there's a... Oh, there's a car facing the wrong way. It's Senna. Right, we have three laps to go in this race to claim a very famous victory. Incredibly famous. So famous, people can't stop talking about it. The pace has dropped off massively, but we have one lap to go. Come on, we can do it. And as we round the final corner for the final time, it'll be our third victory of the season. And because of Mark Webber's mishaps... I think we'll close the gap in the championship by quite a lot. We've won by a whole lap ahead of Kubica and Hamilton. Alonso, fourth place. And then it's a four, four Germans in a row. Rosberg, Vettel, Suttle, and the re returning Michael Schumacher. Cora Kobayashi in ninth with Jensen Button scoring the final point. And the fourth India of Massa just misses out. Weber in 13th place, two laps down. And we had a few DNFs down there. Alga Suari, Kovalainen, Buemi, and Nico Hulkenberg. Mark Webber's lead in the championship is now down to just eight points. And we are now only 19 points off Weber. We're up to third place, which means we've gained two positions since the last race. And look at the battle there for fourth between Hamilton, Rosberg, and Kibitza. Three points separating those three drivers. And my teammate Fernando Alonso scoring big points here today means he's up to ninth place. And Michael Schumacher uh, jumps up from 25th place, I suppose, up to 18th place. And McLaren lead the way still, but Ferrari up from, I think we were in th fourth place after the last race. Now up to second, the Red Bull pushed down to third.
back on top back on top of the podium the top step of the podium 25 points to our name which takes us past 100 points for the season thanks for watching if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe like the video see you next time goodbye